Remember, workers, all cabbage are the property of Patch Enterprise. Any employee caught removing cabbage will face disciplinary action in accordance with Section 313 of the Workers' Code of Conduct. <coughs> John, help me! factory now sits, was owned by an old Russian toy inventor named Gregor. One evening, Gregor heard the sound of babies crying coming from deep in the forest. Being a father himself, he went in search of the crying children. of events no one could have ever imagined. Gregor was a good man, but a naive one too. Years earlier, he had lost his wife in childbirth. He blamed himself for her death, and in his own twisted way, saw saving these children as his way of making amends. He loved us like we were his own. Yuri, now you have lots of brothers and sisters. But Yuri didn't want any brothers or sisters. He wanted his father all to himself. Gregor soon realized he couldn't take care of all these children. He needed homes for all of us. I'll be here watching. The old man was an amazing toy inventor, and he built a machine that froze us in time. We were still alive, still aware of our surroundings. But we just sat there, like... A doll. He turned us into dolls. It worked! <laughs> This new doll, a little girl's dream came true, and the nightmare for us began. The little girls grew up. We were abandoned and forgotten. So he sent his son Yuri to collect and bring us home. Once home, he set about trying to make us a part of his family, once again. This is a 
ridiculous, Father. I almost got caught. Again. Jordi, don't be so rough with them. People think I'm kidnapping their actual children instead of these useless, discarded dolls. They're not useless. They're your brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters? You hear yourself? Look at them. Look at what you've created. You don't understand. I fixed it. Enough with the machine. You love these dolls more than you love your own flesh and blood. Stop. Stop. You hurt him. Stop. You're, you're hurting him. Oh, support. No. Promise. Of course, anything, Father. They're your responsibility now. Treat them like your own. father's creation into a product sold around the world. Obedient workers served his every demand. If the truth of our torment were ever discovered, Yuri would lose everything. Stay here. Let no one in or out. Cannot bear it. Little one, don't you cry. Here's a tissue. Courtesy of Patch Enterprise. Cotton cabbage. Oh, my lovelies. Daddy worried so. But that's Patch property. And removal is a no, no, no. Incarcerating you, I'd never dream. But you've neglected Article 313. Hello and good evening. <laughs> Ooh. It's chilly out tonight. Patch Enterprise Workers' Code of Conduct clearly states a legal product found on workers simply deems this fate. Oh my. They'll be considered as subversives fit for condemnation. That doesn't sound good. Remanded, shackled, and sent for re education. That's the kicker. You don't want that one. I should have worn gloves. Naughty, naughty little Robin Hood. Re-education is for your own good. You thought you could be a family, but the company doesn't agree. It's not you, it's me. We're on our way. We're on our way. Now blow your mind. Blow your mind. Cause rotten cabbage gets locked up each and every time. Don't thank me yet. Don't thank him yet. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. Cause your brains are gonna be. Your brains are going to be. Your brains are gonna be. Cole's law. Bag them and tag them, boys.
Kobiec mi żyje mi nie kochasz. Kobiec mi nie mi żyje kochasz. Powiedz go! Co oni ci zrobili? Nic nie mogłem zrobić. My father gave him life. Now all he can do is scheme behind our backs. Father would not approve. Maybe we should go, my darling. No, stay. It's like a family reunion. Please, sit. What's the matter, Yuri? You've forgotten how to be a gentleman? <laughs> Where is he? Yes, I don't know. Is this? I don't remember this individual. I'm sure we can make you remember. And then we can make you forget. Ideas? Lower prices! Increase work hours! Mm. Fire each other. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but your services are no longer required. This is the most difficult part of my job, and even though it's Christmas, I'm going oh, to sorry, let you go. For the board as well. That's the the bottom line is a company can no longer afford to... Excuse me! Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse we may need to order more black hoods. The old ways aren't working anymore, Kenny. This company needs a shake-up. Tell me about it. We're in a recession and now these animal rights scum are protesting on behalf of the storks. I tell you, it's a PR nightmare. According to recent data, people see this company as old-fashioned. Kids think we're boring, low-tech. Technology. Kids want something that feels grown up. They don't want babies, they want peeps. They want BFFs. Little wretched mongrels, you just want to pop them in their stupid smiling faces and... What's a BFF? Something fresh would be ideal to make the tweeny girl squeal. But I'll give them something that's real. Kenny, the conversion device, will it fit a human? Theoretically. Because this little girl will be our prototype for our new line of dolls. Well, sir, I don't know about that. I should probably ask a scientist then. I mean, they really know their stuff. Love for you and yours. Available at local retail stores. A story that lasts forever and a day. With no return policy, per se. Any news on the escaped foundling? We've got nothing out of the prisoners. His re-education is in five minutes. <sighs> What's the matter, boss? You love a good re-education. All this power, Kenny. I wish there was someone to share it with. I'll share it. Get off! Sorry. Get out! I apologize. I Go! I am... Sorry. Good day. I've worked so hard. I've made this city. I gave you a home. Do you appreciate it? No. You keep running away. It is such a pity. You turned your back on me. To have your own family tree by their hand. 
My dear father died, and I've been left alone with no kin to call my own. The void has left me empty inside. You feel somewhat strange. Maybe time to make a change. I could have a family. I could grow my own family tree. Standing by my side, filling me with pride. A family that's for me and my hot little bride to be. The Patch Enterprise Free Education Program. By the end of this session, you'll be free from all needless memories. Returning to a happy life as a productive member of the Patch Enterprise family. You okay, my jittery friend? Yeah. Yeah, I just had the worst nightmare. Oh, I hate those. Was it the one where your child is being held captive by an evil child catcher and you wake up in a cold sweat? Yeah. Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> Hello, my little pumpkin. How was the ride? Did you enjoy your pickled beets? No. Where am I? You're in a very special place, which will be even more extraordinary now that you're here. Where's her mother? <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, the kid's a lot tougher than she looks. She's vicious. But she fell into my trap and I snared her. And I, uh, I could only snare the fox and, or the hen. <laughs> I'm the fox. She's the hen. No, she's the chicken. I gotta get the hen to get the chicken to get the eggs. Which came first, right? <laughs> the fox or the chicken, I don't know. How have you been? Don't cry, my sweet. It causes wrinkles. And this little face is company property now. I want my mommy. So do I. Bring her. <laughs> Let her go. Well, you look stunning. Please sit. Let's eat. You must be famished. Where is my daughter? Oh, please. She can't hear you. Please just let her go. I'll do anything to get her back. Let's drink to a lovely meal. Uh, oh, please. <sighs> I hope you like cabbage rolls. <clears throat> Look at us. A perfect Family. What's wrong, my dear? You seem distracted. What are you going to do with us? There is no us, only we. But why would we begin our lives together burdened by a snot-nosed kid? What do you mean? It might be a good idea if we had a few spare replacement daughters just in case she doesn't make out. What are you saying? How do I put this gently? 
We want to freeze your daughter, make a mold out of her, and sell her likeness on the free market. You can't do that. You can't do that. It'll kill her. Well, perhaps, but the mold will be saved, and you'll have plenty of replacements just in case. I seem to recall you had no difficulty in abandoning your last child. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I mean, Avery has been an awful burden to me. And just think. Hmm? Think about all of the free time that we could have. Just the two of us. It's incredible what you've built here. I mean, the... the terror and the, the fear, the kidnapping. I mean, how have you managed it all? Hmm? It's uh, a gift, really. Oh, I know. It shows, it shows, it shows. And you know what else? Hmm? I want to show you another side of me. I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. Do you like my mother's necklace? It's beautiful. I can't believe they buried her in it. I don't care if he's on a date. <laughs> Sir, there seems to be a bit of a disturbance shh, down shh, on the factory can't floor. You see that I'm busy? Sir, this really can't wait. Hello, you look much prettier without a bag on your head. Go away. Sir, this is important. I'm sorry, I can't get this little gnat to fly away. It's very important that I need to see you right now, sir. It's... You're right. <laughs> you could fit into one of your shoe boxes. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure you don't care, but there is an entire huge revolt happening right now throughout the factory, and they're coming for you. Look! Oh, oh no! Oh. You knew this was happening right behind my back! No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Bring me the girl and the machine. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's over, Yuri. Just let her go. Oh, I'd be happy to. But Kenny has taken quite an attachment to the little one. Kenny? Sick him. And your sweet little sister gets it. No, no, please, please, please don't hurt her. It's you that's hurt her with all your games. All I wanted was to have a family of my own. You want to belong? You want to have a family of your own? You want to be loved? Just look around you. You don't get what you want by striking fear into everyone to get your way. It's about letting yourself love and be loved. What are we going to do with them? There's only one thing we can do. Please. I'm feeling very warm and, and loving, friend. Could, couldn't we just sit in a circle? Or maybe we could have a group hug. Does it hurt? Oh, yeah. Treasure, I would cry. 
cries when you have the moon. I want to die. Mon petit chou, do not fear the postman. I'll be watching you while darkness creeps.